guys, thank you so much for watching. Today I'm gonna to be doing Journey's bedroom tour. This is her doorway. As soon as we walk into the room, you can see her laundry baskets on the floor. I got that laundry basket at Target. Very cheap, it works great for what we need it for right now. In this pink basket, I have all of her bows, which you can obviously see. In the shadow box above that, I have my blankie from when I was a kid. In the shadow box next to that one, I have all of her stuff from when she was born in the hospital and then she was in the hospital for six weeks. So we have other items from when she was in the NICU. And then this picture next to it, my Aunt Sherry had made for us. Um, it just says her weight and the time she was born and all of that stuff. She's very sentimental like that and so am I, so that really helps. Um, on her dresser, I have a picture of me and her, a picture of the first day she was born. And then I also have some trolls things, a piggy bank, a jewelry box and her monthly pictures which are not up to date obviously as you can tell because she is 14 months this is her dresser we got it at um, furniture factory outlet we love it it was two hundred dollars i think and it works great there's her laundry basket behind the door is her robe it's really cute it has a little owl on it And here is her trash can. We got a cheap trash can from Walmart and it works perfect for what we need it for. Sometimes it gets stinky and we have to take it out sooner, but it was cheap and it weren't worth it. <laughs> we have a little reading nook over here for her. That's um, that basket I also got from Target. I'm not really sure how much it was, but... Um, and then next to it, we have a big poppy head. We got that from Sam's Club. And then we have um, this owl that Journey got for Christmas in the chair. And then um, in this basket, we have a bunch of pillows in case she wants to sit on them, you know, have friends over, whatever. Um, this picture above that is my cousin made for my baby shower. And we had everybody put their thumbprints on it and then write their name as the guest book. And then this um, rocking horse was mine when I was a kid. As you'll see in her room, a lot of the stuff in here was mine when I was a kid, so that I'm very sentimental. And then we got her these light purple blackout curtains. I also got those from Target. We love them. They work perfect for when she needs to nap during the day. And then we also have owl baby monitors they work perfect my mother's-in-law got that for us um it reaches throughout our whole house which is awesome and they're really cute for her bedroom this gold owl we had um, for decoration at the baby shower thanks to Mansi sims and then this painting I believe was done at the same time as the other painting because it's the same colors, I'm not sure, but my cousin also painted that. My mother and father-in-law got this for Journey, the sign for Journey for her first birthday. And then I bought this picture at Hobby Lobby because she was born three months early and was in the NICU and she was very little but of course she's very fierce for those of you that know her now. This garland we used at the baby shower it was on her bassinet that we put all the gifts and stuff in. And then this crib was mine when I was a kid. This bedding I found at um 
Babies Are Us. I love it so much. I decided that it was hers as soon as we found out we were having a girl. I actually decided before I knew she was a girl because I knew she was a girl from the moment I knew I was pregnant. But I love this bedding and it fits her personality perfect. This little monkey my cousin made for her, the same one that painted the pictures. She makes her all kinds of animals and stuff and she's so awesome at it. But it's so cute and she loves it so much so we keep it in her bed. This blanket, we think that my great aunt made it and it's very it came from her house at least and it means a lot to me because she was more like a grandma than an aunt this lion king blanket my mom bought for journey before she was born and i used it in the hospital for the 10 days that i was in the hospital and we also have her passy which you saw right there she does take a passy at night when she goes to bed and then here on the crib, we have her sleep sheet, which she doesn't really play with, and actually the batteries are out of it, but um, she'll play with it if she's standing up and I don't get into her room fast enough or whatever. And then here we have her bunny rabbit, Rainbow. It's her favorite stuffed animal right now, except maybe her violet. And then we got that before she was born. And then the two pillows behind Rainbow were on my bed when I was a teenager. This rocking chair was mine when I was a kid. Um, for Christmas, my parents um, redid it. They sanded it down and then re-stained it so that it would be beautiful. The blanket, the... Um, purple and blue and white blanket also came from my great aunt's house. This nightstand was Journey's Aunt Amanda's nightstand and she didn't need it anymore when she moved out of her parents' house, so we kept it. That's a picture of her too. Um, when she was in the hospital, I got that for Mother's Day. And then she got this Moana hammock from Nina for her first birthday. And her daddy loves Batman, so we, she has a Batman purse. This dresser was mine when I was a kid. Um, we actually need to move it to the other bedroom because she doesn't even use it. But she has the journey sign there that Morgan made her, my cousin that made that painted and made the monkey. And then also on the rocking chair, my... Um, there was a green blanket and that was mine when I was a kid. And then here's her closet. And this Tupperware thing on, um, at the bottom, I keep clothes bigger for her. There's 2T, 3T, and 4T and up, I believe. And then um, in the barrel, I keep extra blankets and stuff. But then on top of the barrel, I keep her um, extra like a couple extra blankets so I don't have to get into the barrel and then here on top of that I have her swim diapers and then in the polka dot box I have her um, cards from her first birthday and from her baby shower and then her extra diapers next to that and then up here we have her clothes and I have them organized from winter coats and stuff that we're not using right now to jumpers and outfits and then over from that is dresses. And then over from next to that is t-shirts. And then towards the back of that part of the closet um, is her onesies and stuff. She doesn't really wear onesies very much now unless she's going to bed. She doesn't wear them out in public. And then those um, above that is size 5 diapers. She's not in size 5 yet, she's still in size 4 and she probably will be for a while. That is her old diaper bag that I took to the hospital every day when she was in the hospital to make because I never knew when she was going to get to come home, we were just ready. That's her humidifier that we use in the winter. And then that basket's just full of stuff that honestly I couldn't tell you what was in it. <laughs> Here's another overview of her closet.
And then here's one more overview of her whole bedroom. I think it's pretty cute. Um, once she starts potty training and stuff, I will probably put her into a um, toddler bed. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Please comment, share, like, and subscribe all of our videos. We would love that. And we will see you next time.